forever for he is our God he is our king he is the one who gives life and strength he is God all by himself no one is God but the Lord when you bless God and praise his name you will recognize his great mercy over all of mankind we give him the praise father we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may your name be glorified and may your name be praised May the church be stirred up. May the church be raised up in this time and season for what you have prepared for us. May we move in the newness of life, in the newness of your strength and grace. Give us the necessary courage for this hour. Give us the necessary grace for this hour. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Somebody said a big amen. Somebody said a big amen. Somebody said a very, very big amen. Clap your hand very strongly and give God some praise. And give him a mighty, 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 mighty clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 All through the week, it's been very, very busy week uh, because of various appointments during the week but everywhere we went we noticed that men's hearts were filling them for fear hallelujah but I believe something that we need to hear what God has to say so that we can know how to handle the times all the times are not the same all the seasons are not the same and every season is given to you to enable you to prepare for the next one day follows night hallelujah i said day follows night and all the season of day and night is given to you so that you prepare for the next one hallelujah glory be to god in the things of god the first thing is always the evening Genesis 1 verse 4 Genesis 1 verse 4 and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness verse 5 and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day so he didn't say the morning and the evening he said the evening and the morning were the first day hallelujah glory be to god verse 8 of genesis chapter 1 and god called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day hallelujah so god is not disturbed by the darkness he starts from the darkness to produce the light in the beginning 
the darkness was there before the light came I said in the beginning the darkness was there before God made the light hallelujah is it so in your Bible hallelujah glory be to God darkness was there before the light came hallelujah glory be to God Genesis 1 verse 2 and 3 and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light so what was there first the darkness was there before God made the light so trouble doesn't trouble God because out of trouble God creates solution and answer I, 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 are you still here today I said are you still here today so we are not told in Genesis that in the beginning was the light and the light faded and darkness came no we are told that in the beginning darkness was upon the face of the deep but God said let there be light and there was light so let there be light in our lives let there be light in Ghana let there be light in our world let there be light everywhere that there was darkness anywhere there was fear let there come a complete and a total overturning of the spirit of fear and let us have the spirit of grace and the spirit of boldness and the spirit of courage hallelujah every good day is given to you to strengthen yourself for when you strengthen yourself properly in the good day the evil day doesn't become a bother to you hallelujah because you have done what is necessary in the good day hallelujah the key thing why the whole world don't have answer to certain problems is that the world has turned its back on God and the world is having no faith because the world has thrown and put aside the world the word of almighty God but we that are the children of God we need to uphold the word of God I, I, are you here today if everybody is afraid you and I must uphold the word of God what is written we must uphold it glory be to God by all means, do everything that we are told to do to protect ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If they tell you to wash your hand, wash your hand. If they tell you not to, to use your elbow or your leg to greet, use your elbow and your leg to greet. Don't worry about those things. Hallelujah. Are you still here today? If they say wash your hand constantly, just wash your hand constantly. If you have sanitizer or wipes or whatever, use it abundantly. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But at the end of the day, let the word of God dwell richly in you. Let the word of God abide in your spirit let faith be strong because fear creates torment are you here today hallelujah and we don't want to be tormented but we want to be encouraged hallelujah is somebody still here today hallelujah 
There is a reason why God did not give to you and I the spirit of fear. But he gave us a spirit of love and power and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 1 John 4, 18. 1 John 4, 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casted out fear, because fear hath torment. The reason why God don't want you living in fear is because fear will torment you. Hallelujah. Number two, fear opens a door for the enemy to operate just as faith opens a door for God to operate fear opens a door for Satan to operate hallelujah oh I don't hear you at all hallelujah 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 so don't let fear rule your life because fear opens a door for Satan to operate. You find that in the book of Job, he declared something when he was explaining what happened to him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Job 3.25 For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which was, I was afraid of has come unto me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me and that which I was afraid of has come unto me. So, fear easily brings and opens a way for the enemy to do what he wants to do. But we can block the fear and block the enemy's opportunity. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 1 7 Second Timothy 1 verse 7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't hear you at all. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. So you do everything you know to do, but make sure you also develop your faith and apply your faith. Hallelujah. Are you still here today? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, may the power of God on your life and on our life be stronger than the power of any kind of virus or sickness. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't hear you at all. Uh, it's important to address the fact that God is higher and greater than every sickness. And God is greater than every virus. I don't hear you at all. I don't hear you at all. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
Psalm 91 verse 1 to 7. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 7. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And if you are trusting God, know that you are trusting God. I, I, are you still here today? If you are trusting God, be sure that you are trusting in Him. You will do everything you are told to do, but trust in God. Are you here today? I believe God. I, I, I may apply a sanitizer, but I believe God. <laughs> Are you still here today? Oh, I don't hear you at all. You have to believe God. You can wash your hand with Omo or Seth or anything. Yes, by all means, wash your hand, but believe God. Whatever they tell you to do, do it. But believe God. Are you here today? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You must dwell somewhere and you must know within yourself that you are not exposed but you are dwelling in the secret place of the most high god i don't hear you at all you you have to know that the god you serve he is not just far away somewhere but he is a residence he is a place just as you are sitting here physically in revival city in the spiritual realm god is a place God is a location and if you dwell in God in the secret place of the most high you have to know I'm dwelling in the secret place of the most high you have to be sure about it ladies and gentlemen David and the psalmist who wrote these psalms their lives were in danger David was being chased by King Saul. King Saul took javelin and threw it at David three times. Not in an open place, but in a room. Are you still here today? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is very hard to dodge when you are in a room. And it's not that you can even run away from the room because the king is the one who asks you to be there. So now the king suddenly take a javelin and throw it at you. If you don't know where you dwell and you just think you are in the room with a killer king, then you lose your life for nothing. But you have to know that even though you are in the room with King Saul and even though a demon has come upon him, to try to kill you with a javelin you have to know that you are not dwelling in the room with King Saul but you are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High and you know where you are ladies and gentlemen you have to know where you are are you still here today if you believe it say yes you have to know where you dwell you have to know you are not not expose uh, you have to know you are not meat for the enemy you have to know that God is covering your life is somebody able to say amen with strength and power know where you dwell know where you live know where you dwell you are dwelling in the secret place of the most high and you shall abide under the shadow of the almighty are you still here today if you know where you are you don't live in fear because you know where 
you are you know what covers you i declare to you today by the grace of almighty god you are dwelling in the secret place of the most high god he that dwelleth uh, in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty you have to know where you are you have to know you are in the shadow of the almighty can you shout yes uh, shall abide continue sir Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His a fowler is a trapper. The fowlers are those who lay traps. They are hunters. Hallelujah. So, the fowler lays traps and the trap is called a snare a snare is another word for a trap so we could read it this way he will deliver thee from the trap of the hunter glory be to God are you here today the enemy may be hunting people down but God will deliver his own from the trap of the hunter. Can you say amen with strength and power? May you be delivered from the trap of every hunter. No matter how skillful they are. And no matter how mighty their trap is. May the power of God deliver you from the traps of the trapper and the trap of the hunter may you never become a victim of any trap of any hunter are you still here today every demonic agent that work out to trap the lives of men may that demonic agent agent and that demonic assignment be terminated by the power of the most high god yabashata pasamahanda rabababahaya jesus hallelujah glory to god hallelujah glory to god hallelujah 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 and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers uh -huh. and under his wings shall thou trust this, this is a picture of a, a bird like a chicken a mother chicken hallelujah it keeps the young chickens under its wings so the wings of the bird become the protection and the covering over the baby chickens. Are, are, are you still here today? So when he said he will cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. He's talking about the fact that he will bring you under his protection. Glory be to God. Is somebody still here today? Okay, let's read that again. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What are you trusting? You are trusting the covering of his wings. Under his wings you shall take refuge. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Is it helping you? Hallelujah. Verse 5. 
Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. That means at every time of the 24 hours, there are different things that operate. Some people only get afraid in the night. In the night, they lock their door and they pull an iron gate behind the door and they go and find several padlocks and padlock themselves because they are only afraid in the night. In the daytime, sometimes they don't even lock the door. They can't even leave the door and say they are feeling hot. But every season has its own operative powers. Are you still here today? There is a pestilence that walketh in the darkness. There is a destruction that wasted at noonday. Are you still here today? Some people are afraid of a virus. Uh, but some people's life is wasted in the afternoon on the road on the way to Winneba or the way to Cape Coast or the way to Damongo or the way to the north. Somebody's life will be wasted in the afternoon. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I'm trying to tell you that you cannot isolate only some fears. You have to be ready to be covered by God at all times, at all seasons because in the noonday, in the hot afternoon time there is a destruction that wasted at noonday i don't hear you at all are you still here today there are forces that waste people's life destroy people's life in the hot afternoon sun are you still here with me today my yo shata manta la 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 mahanda anda bo shata baba ba santa mahanda come on come on come on sometime when you hear me pray you got to pray a little bit too because uh, i feel the power of the most high god uh, that power is designed uh, to arrest every waster and to arrest every destructive agency to arrest anything that destroys uh, my karabayo shadabahaya some people will not be touched by any virus but another waster will be wasting their life uh, at noonday in the afternoon uh, you can't afford uh, just to allow something else uh, to waste your life uh, you have to come uh, under a 24 hour divine cover of the almighty god uh, are you still here today let the power of the most high help you now my yoshata rababaha ranta la 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 bahaya the wister of the noonday abayata kamaya shatahaya every pestilence uh, that walketh in the darkness uh, my yekelebo shata let it be arrested uh, in the name of jesus and santa la 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 bahaya let every agency of the enemy let it be arrested in the mighty name of jesus if you believe it shout yes for the, the destruction that wasted read verse 5 again and Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. The terror by night. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. During the day there is an arrow. In the night there is a terror. I, I don't hear you at all. 
Mayadabaha, any arrow released in the daytime, may it be arrested by the power of the Most High God, Mayosha Tabahaya. Anything that try to fly, any arrow that try to fly, release from any satanic bow targeting any life and any personality any family by the authority and power of the most high god may the arrows of the enemy be shot down by the power of the most high god may the arrow turn around may it go back to where it was shot from i don't know who you are and what is happening to you today but i sense in my spirit now whatever arrow the enemy shoot uh, let it be returned by fire kataya la 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 vashada raba baba bahaya da bata sanda la 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 bahaya somebody say yes glory be to god so for a man like david he cannot say he's going to barricade himself in his room at night for fear of armed robbers or anything in the afternoon when he has gone to work he works for king saul a javelin is being thrown at him not in the night but in the afternoon whilst he is working for the king so you have to have a god who works 24 hours a day i don't hear you at all may the god of 24 hour work mayata palada baba they are things that try to take people down but may the power of god uphold you for whosoever is born of god keepeth himself and the evil one touch at him not uh, come on come on is somebody still here today i see the dissipation of every fear i see fear being scattered uh, by the power of the most high god uh, can somebody say yes uh, glory be to god Amen. glory be to god F first glory Samuel. be to god 19 verse 9 and the evil spirit from the Lord was upon Saul as he sat in his house with his javelin in his hand and David played with his hand and Saul sought to smite David even to the wall with the javelin but he slipped away out of Saul's presence and he smote the javelin into the wall and David fled and escaped that night uh -huh. he's just standing by the wall in a room, it's very hard to run close range very in a room. How big is a room? And the man picked a javelin and Saul was a mighty man because the Bible said he was one head taller than everybody in Israel. So he himself is like a giant and a warrior. <laughs> And when he picked the javelin like that, he's not joking. I said, he's not joking. When he picked the javelin, your life is in danger. And he throws the javelin. But David is not just in the room. Physically, he's in the room. But he said, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Ayata Mayandala Bahaya. May you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Come on, come on, come on. Matandala Lalaba Santa Mahaya. Dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Are you still here today? If you believe it, shout yes. First John 5 18 we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and that wicked one toucheth him not 
read it again. First John 5, 18. You have to write down the scriptures because when you go home, these scriptures, they are like ammunition for your weapon. We know, 1 John 5, 18, that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Are you born of God? Are you born of God? Whosoever is born of God, begotten by God, born again, a child of the living God, he keepeth himself. Are you here today? And that wicked one toucheth him not. I declare to you today that you are in charge of your own space. You are keeping yourself. Are you still here today? You are born again. You are empowered by the Spirit of God. You are keeping yourself. That wicked one does not touch you. In Shadaha, wave your hand and declare I am untouchable I am untouchable he that is born of God keepeth himself and that evil one that wicked one toucheth him not are you still here today Mayata Kadabayo Shadaha and Talalalalalalalababa and Delelelea for they overcame that wicked one by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Are you still here today? And they love not their lives uh, even unto the death. Uh, are you still here today? Mayata Mayosha Rebebete Kelemete Rebesaya. Wave your hand and shout yes. Uh. Revelations 12 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death just in case somebody here does not know who him is in the verse and they overcame him who is him it's not your uncle it's not your wicked boss or your wicked landlord who is him if you read verse 7 we will locate him because you have to know where your overcoming power lies. And there was war in heaven. And there was war in heaven. Uh -huh. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. Remember the dragon. Uh -huh. And prevailed not. And prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. May nothing prevail against the church of God. I, I, I don't hear you at all. May, may nothing prevail against you. May nothing prevail against uh, the church of the living God. Uh, my attacker, whatever battle that the enemy raises up, uh, whether by virus, whether by sickness, whether by demonic power, whether by any method, uh, by any terrorist, whatever the method, uh, may the power of the most high God silence every demonic agency I don't hear your amen at all let your amen sound like a thunder shout yes And the great dragon was cast out that old serpent we are called still, the devil the dragon the old serpent called the devil called the devil number three and satan number four his name is satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him 
Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, uh-huh. Now is come salvation. Now is come salvation. And strength. And, and the, strength. And the kingdom of our God. And the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The accuser of our brethren. Which accused them before our God day and night. I declare to you today. See, when it said Satan was cast down into upon the earth, verse 9, and the dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. When he was cast out, he was cast out where? Into the The earth. Uh And his angels were cast out with him. So I said, this will bring trouble to the earth because Satan has been cast out into the earth. But no, instead of bringing trouble, listen to verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Now is come salvation. Now is come salvation. And strength. And strength. And the kingdom of our God. And the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Which accused them before our God day and night. Which accused them before our our God day and night and they so came here. even if he is cast into the earth the fact is in heaven he is causing more trouble than if he is cast to the earth and he is powerless he cannot do what damage he could do when he was operating in the heaven are you here today I prophesy to you what you were afraid of. God has taken away the poison behind it. Oh Jesus, I feel some power here. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever the case, may the Lord remove the poison out of the mouth of the snake. Every poison that was in the serpent, let that poison be taken away are you still here today if you believe it say yes why we shouldn't be afraid and let fear rule our life I was reading one of these uh, BBC and CNN and those people, they said 45 people in Iran were told that drinking alcohol will kill the virus. So they went to find, and because they are an Islamic country, they are not allowed to drink. Nobody is allowed to sell drink anywhere. So some people cook some alcohol, homemade, and they went to drink it to destroy the virus 45 of them died from the alcohol the virus was walking somewhere else no am i the only one who read it is there anybody here who read it is there anybody is there any witness here sir i'm telling the truth am i right yeah and when we close you can google it just google you'll find it it's true Fear can make you rather fall into a trap. Oh, I don't hear you at all. The people are walking around. They have no virus. But they are told that if you drink this thing, the virus will die. Then they drank the homemade alcohol. Kill all of them. Because they are trying to escape death, they went to die. 
may you overcome every unnecessary fear are you still here today say yes when the accuser is laying accusations it gives him power doesn't matter where he is I said doesn't matter where he is so long as he's accusing and bringing charges against people it is making people become guilty and people become accused before God and become exposed to Satan's judgment when he was brought down the angel was very happy because even though Satan was cast into the earth, they said, so long as he cannot accuse. You are not hearing me. I said, so long as he cannot accuse. Mabatakaya. So long as he cannot accuse. So long as he cannot depress you. So long as he cannot speak against you. So long as he cannot decree things against your life. It doesn't matter whether he's on the earth or not. Uh, salvation has come. Read it again. Now it's come. Salvation. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Now is come salvation uh -huh. and strength uh -huh. and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Verse 11. And they overcame him by and the blood of the Lamb. And they overcame him. <laughs> By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. It is very important to understand. They overcame him. Who is him? The dragon. Called the old serpent. Called the devil. Called Satan. Who deceived the whole world. That's him. No matter his title and no matter how big his name, the blood of Jesus, Mayadabaha, Waandabaha, Ay, Katabayata, and see, God in heaven don't need victory over the devil. God in heaven is not disturbed by the devil. He doesn't even fight him. The fight was with Michael. Satan was fighting with Michael. God's archangel Michael. Not with God. <laughs> God. Don't fight devil. He left him to Michael. To handle Michael. Handle him. Glory be to God. Because it's against the rules. But God is too high. <laughs> God is too high. Glory be to God. And the victory is not for heaven. Because heaven is not fighting for heaven. The victory is for you and I. There is nowhere written that the angels overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The angels are not pleading the blood. It is us on earth who used to be under accusation. We are the ones that declare and say the blood of Jesus has purged away our sins uh, and we are no more sinners uh, but we are clean by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, are you still here today? May the blood speak for you. The victory is in the blood. Is in the blood. Is in the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood that Jesus 
set for you it reaches to the highest mountain it goes and flows to the lowest valley that's the blood that Jesus shed it will never lose its power and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony can you shout yes One of the things we need is to learn to say what the blood is saying. The word of your testimony is the only thing that has not been manufactured in heaven. See, the blood of the lamb, that blood of the lamb is divinely created. A spirit, Jesus said, a spirit hath not flesh and blood. Are you here today? Angels don't have flesh and blood. A spirit hath not flesh and blood. Glory be to God. So, God is a spirit. So, the blood of Jesus is manufactured by the Father. Are you still here today? You didn't manufacture the blood. The Father manufactured the blood for Jesus' his Son. Are you here today? And Jesus shed that blood to pay the price for our sins. So that one does not depend on you. That blood was manufactured by the Father. You have no capacity to manufacture that blood. You and I couldn't make that blood. Are you here today? In fact, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 6, 5 and 6. Hebrews 10, 5 and 6. Ladies and gentlemen, you need the scriptures. You need the verses. You need to write them down. Because you are fighting with it. It's your bullet in your gun. Hebrews 10, 5 and 6. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin. Thou hast had no pleasure. So this is Christ talking about the fact that God has prepared for him a body. The blood was in the body. Oh, are you here today? He said, verse 5 said, Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Hallelujah. So, the father himself prepared the body, the blood in the body, everything was prepared by the father. Are you here today? Glory be to God. Because the blood of cows and bulls could not take away sin. Hebrews chapter 9. 12, 13. Neither by the blood of goat and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having made eternal redemption for us. Having obtained eternal, let's read verse 12 again. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in one. Since the days of Moses, thousands of cows have died. Some of the sacrifices were daily sacrifices. Moses told them when you are coming to God, Every day, there's a certain sacrifice that should be made daily. Then they had a special sacrifice they made once a year that the high priest went to make. Then there are daily offerings the priest will make. Then if anybody sin, he can carry a goat to the temple and let sacrifice that goat for his personal sin. Are you here today? Since Moses' day, 
millions of cows and goats have died. And many, many, many tankers full of animal blood has been shed. And sin is still strong. The accusation is still working. Oh, I don't hear you at all. Satan is still bullying human beings. Glory be to God. Until a superior blood came. I said until a superior blood came on the scene. Hallelujah. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. But by his own blood he but, entered. But by what? His, his own, own blood. blood. He entered in once into the holy place. Having obtained eternal redemption for us. The redemption Christ obtained is not a temporary redemption that has an expiry date. Whenever you buy a tin of sardine or something, you look for a date on it. They have written BBE, best before end of BBE. That's what it stands for. Best before end of, then you see a date. It's called an expiry date. Are you here today? But Christ's redemption does not have expiry date. <laughs> Oh, Maradabahaya, and Alalalahaya. I don't know if I'm in the right place, but I am trying to tell a believer that Christ's redemption doesn't have an expiry date. It is an eternal redemption that He obtained for you and I. If you believe it, wave your hand and shout, Yes. Having obtained eternal redemption for us for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spots to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God <laughs> he said even the blood of bulls, the and one that God didn't like, it could still do something. How much? 13. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh. It could handle the flesh place. The physical realm it could purify them their flesh the blood of bulls and the ashes of a hypha that has been burnt and the ashes extracted mixed with blood with water they sprinkle it upon the unclean and the unclean become clean in the flesh but in the spirit they remain the same but in the flesh they are cleansed if that could work, if the blood of a lamb or a goat in the day of the Passover could be put on the window of a house, if it could make sure that the killing angel, the destroying angel could not enter the house, because of the blood of an animal. Are you here today? Then the blood of Jesus. That was pure and sanctified. Manufactured by the father. In the body that he gave to Christ. Are you still here today? It will purge your conscience from dead works uh, to serve uh, the living God. Uh, can somebody shout yes? Uh, you know, you know, Reverend Enoch, our problem as a people is 
we have taken the things of God for granted and exalt all other things but take God's things for granted. You take coming to church. People who are never late for work can be late for church because the things of God are taken for granted. People who never dress casually for work you see them some are even pastors if they are going for pastors meeting they are wearing some pata pata angelina but if he was working at the bank he will put on a tie and go but if he hear pastor's meeting, he's wearing his pata pata and he's going. Because we take spiritual things light. Are you here today? But our lives are covered by the spiritual. Are you still here today? And one of the things God requires of us is to change our attitude towards spiritual things. Are, are you here today? Learn to be faithful. Learn to give maximum respect to spiritual things. Are, are you here today? Learn not to joke about things spiritual. Hallelujah. Some of you can remember what your earthly father told you. But when your pastor preached, you say you are forgotten. Because you don't put value on what your pastor is saying. But you put value on what some Ebusia penny somewhere. Giving some strange proverb. That why you remember it. But what God is saying through his servant. You have forgotten it. We want God's help. But the way we handle God's things. Don't make it easy for God's help to come to us. Because it's not only the blood that is working. It's the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So, you must be saying something. Glory be to God. I say you must be saying something. Tap your neighbor say, what are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Come on. Don't be afraid of your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, what are you saying? Uh, what are you declaring? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Uh, what, did, uh, what are you saying? Uh, are you, every day you wake up, are you saying that virus is chasing you? Or are you saying uh, that the Lord is my helper? I will not fear Fear what man will do against me. Are you still here today? What are you saying? Some of, some of these things, those demons, the demon in that virus, cry, his, his actual destination was not Africa. Amen. Yeah. They use plane to carry their demons. They forget God. When demon attack them, then they start to spread it around. <laughs> Amen. You don't believe it? Uh-huh. They forget God. When the demons attack them, then they start writing. They don't know why the virus is not in Africa. I, I read it myself. BBC, those people, they, they disobey God and misbehave. Give license to John to marry James. When their demons are chasing them, they say they don't know why it's not in Africa. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, may our prayer power rise to preserve us from unnecessary judgment. Are you here today? Shout yes! Because some judgment, it, it was not originally targeted for some people. I, I can prove it to you. <laughs> Genesis 18. Huh? Abraham said to God, Will you, O oh God, Is it 18 or 19? Yeah. Genesis 18, 23. 18, 23. And Abraham... Write it down. I, I need you to write down. I'm giving you ammunition for your fight. Because you have to say something. I said you have to say something. Because your, the word of your testimony is needed to work with the blood. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Uh huh. Per adventure, there be 50 righteous within the city. Uh huh. Will thou also destroy and not spare the place for the 50 righteous that are therein? Uh huh. That be far from thee to do after this manner to slay the righteous with the wicked. And that the righteous should be as the wicked that be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? This is Abraham challenging God. Say, God, you have to do the right thing. <laughs> the boldness he had to pray, he says, it's a special boldness. He said, the judge of all the earth must do the right thing. You can't punish the wicked and the righteous together without making any difference between the two groups. Hey! And when he said that, God said, Abraham, I agree with you. God didn't get angry with him. He said, I agree with you. Then he, they counted the angel who was doing the census and registering the people for a new voters register. He went to do the register. When he came, he said, oh God, I look, I couldn't get 50. Then Abraham started to talk again. He said, per adventure, if they are 45. That's what we got to do it very fast. <laughs> and Abraham answered and said, behold now, I've taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Per adventure, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous. Will thou destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, if I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. So the Lord did the mathematics. <laughs> Hallelujah. Abraham said, if five is short from fifty, and God told him it's forty-five. If I find forty-five, I will not destroy the city. And he spoke unto him yet again and said, Per adventure, there shall be 40 found there. And he said, I will not do it for 40's sake. Uh -huh. And he said unto him, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Per adventure, there shall 30 be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find 30 there. And he said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Per adventure, there shall be 20 found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for 20 sake. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry. And I will speak yet, but this once. Per adventure, 10 shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for 10 sake. And the Lord went his way. As soon as Can he you had... see the power of prayer? If there had been 10 righteous people in Sodom, we wouldn't know the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. I pray that you will rise as a righteous man. 
and a righteous woman by the blood of the lamb in the power of prayer to declare let judgment pass over oh i don't hear you at all i said let judgment pass over let every destruction pass over shout yes let it pass over us let it pass over our nation see sometimes eh, if certain voices could speak into the nation it will cast everything out i'm telling you i'm telling you yeah it will just carry it away any fear hiding in people will just scatter may god's hand be on your life <laughs> Uh, hallelujah <laughs> you know because of that because of abraham's prayers when god couldn't find the ten he still had to send angel to go and destroy sodom when they went they said something to lot they said go out of the town because as long as you are here we can't do what God told us to do. So God told us to call fire. But you being here, you are disturbing our work. So quickly leave. If you leave, we can bring the fire. But whilst you are here, we cannot bring the fire. That should be chapter 19, isn't it? Yes. yes. Read that quickly and we pray. Chapter 19, verse 12. And the man said unto Lord, Has thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord had sent us to destroy it. And Lord went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up! Get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the, the angels... Sons, his sons-in-law thought he was joking. That word mocked means as if he was joking. And when the morning arose, and the, the, then the angels hastened Lord, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city continue and while he lingered the man laid up hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters the lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said escape for thy life look not behind thee Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. Uh -huh. and, and Lord said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. 20. Behold, now, this city is near to flee unto and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape theta. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And so one of the cities that was supposed to have the fire fall on it, Lord said, I'm going there, so don't let the fire come to that where I'm going. That's why he's praying. He's praying. Say, it's a little city. Behold, now this city is near to flee to. He said, you say I should flee to a mountain. The mountain is far. Are, are you hearing? God sent the angels to destroy several cities. They were all in one area. But he said, where you told me to flee to is far. But the, this city here is a small city. Let me escape there. Don't destroy that one because I'm going there. Hey! Negotiation. You are special because of the blood of Jesus. 
you are special i said you are special you are special there's something different about you because of the blood of the lamb i pray that you will charge hallelujah don't joke with spiritual things are, are you here today don't be lackadaisical about church don't be don't bluff the lord the altar of god let it be a powerful place before your eyes glory be to god out of this altar here i can count people this the woman that gave the testimony this morning mm -hmm. i'm trying to remember her but if i remember rightly her life was in total dangers. Mama, Mama Abrif, you might remind me because she tells me some of the things. But God rescued her by the power of the altar. Uh -huh. Our brother, is that, is that him there? Uh -huh. Stand up. He was put in a, a ward. Come, come, come. They put him in a ward. Uh, give, give me microphone. Na microphone here now. Money what word? What now? Yeah, they cut two hundred. Seven. Run, 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 run. Let the altar of the Lord speak for you. Uh huh. Na microphone here. Now make a count here. Yeah, seven. Seven people. Yes. Wo kolebu. Lekman Hospital. Lekman uh, Hospital. Now, Doctor Chair say, say, in your three days or what they are, any day, you bring young one. And she say, young young quadia, and then you want a wire. Now, I do three days, you know, in Nipper Five in India, woo ye. My car, you know me, you know. In the one now, may you care, say. Oh, <laughs> Nti <laughs> Who do one or catch him say? Hannah, madam, in the nurse, and the care say, Mama, Cessiano, Cessian, ye papa, no, we are no fear, and see, yes, I bear she to know. Now, doctor, and say, We, how many minutes no be do I? And see, one family into all. And the nurses wanted to change the bed sheet because somebody just died. The doctor, the medical doctor said, this man, how many minutes at all will he live? So, no need to change the bed sheet. They should just put him there. He will last minutes. So, they didn't change the sheet, but he lay on it. Three days. No woman may do be a not even codeine or APC, nothing. They they left him there to die and they want him to die in minutes. They don't want to waste even bed sheet on him. And see, what the doctor blame some woman be Oba Ojina Minchensa or be some say me what to say. Ma minim say and yet but Missy a ye. Doctor Young, Doctor Bibaye, 
No, Obejina Minchena, no, also was man into Okaba. Into Oba, I didn't say, Doctor Bacon, one mamma, no, no, uncle. Into your no, I say, I'm sorry, nephew, on Shadi, mamma. Mean to me. Me, yeah, 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 it's your Nancasa for Sia, and your water shall was soon, or the two Mikomechi, no, the two Mabo, no, see Oba. Into your quiet, no, by no, I truly will do it. No, what the mamma said, me, no. In the men, no men, no, over train my blood, no sign the quay. In the Oquay, no shawa, no by no noise, say ye bring your scat. Nay, I toss you, dread ye, eh, beer, Yanko, one, I mean in a bay, no, or Benjamin. Na, Yasuna, ye niska, and see your papa or no, or mammy, doctor, waha, na men in a quay. In see your friend, no, say, or befriend, mamma. In the one or friend, mamma, in see, or bow. No, I was from my mamma, Meniska. No, I could do no mammy. And see, what the yam no good city, yam kakanka crassa. No, I do, baby, no. Madame, first, I caught two to three weeks. None were hot. Now, maybe, be a member, many are here. Megonza, one to two minutes. In a goons on him, move him. Mimosa, my goons, all right, but I'm my. I was one and in a home now. And see, one and may you say about nursing in the doctor and the sign catcher may you say or black or black room and see never be beyond funnies are none you're the banning idea be ye and see oh no oh may you are also what are you are no say you're on in the bio no officer or chain cop in town move now on the mark of you no no would you did you say i'm pure coffee in your menu or vaginal and see, and now, a doctor and a visitor say, Now, I'm your coffee, no, on the wine. No, honor, I only am by her. No, say, I'm your sofa. Also, why you be beer, you ain't see, I come with a mini. In the nurse, I get to our own, no, say, Papa, no, obey then, we wouldn't be bog over the rubber ministry. Oh, Nim, Sana, may you read, Papa, next day, can it be a share, the Bible, no, oh, ye, no, the children. The other channel, no, I Ah, where they are, you know, me call Chrome, I pictures, baby, or come home. Yeah, any day, so send you what the Asha Bible is a wood genie defan. It is I am, you know, on your own one. And you know, what goes away, you may drink a can of crying to me, Dana. I didn't know him say, Madame Passo, now me who's a hospital war. Into me, Dana, me who say, a moon. Be a whole and see, I am now. Me, we are many cacra, say, Mesha at the corner. See, Mesha and me who say, I didn't I say, Jesus Calanda no. Na, Abaho. And see, me go on and me, I let you say, Mesha, I don't know. See, Mesha and I is only who so Gina Ho. Now, Miss Ah, now picture we so was here, and yes, Jesus are. Now, we are me who name. And see, made the margin of home. Preoccupy, now, me who say, I die, Papa. Now, or share, or share a talent. In the honor to miss it, ah, Papa, so me who is or share a talent. Be that in Timor, and I sound so dying, be you no share suit black. Now, me who saw all buttons, all buttons, and not in a sat tone. Now, so on. In fact, only the baby mouth and uh, and see, yes, I know. All contours, I see, I see, you know. You know, all boy, this suit in the hand, oh, ye. Bible, small one be. No, us a man yet. In the men in term, and I say, Sir Amuno, say, baby or hunty. Now, Papa and Tum and Baby, I'm no one. In the all four, so I didn't have a mammy. Miss Sumin to me, sorry. My yes, I know. Me da ho na me ten ni me ni no na papa pe ni bi jao na se adi na wade mam ni se manji na me ho na manji a eni de ena ano no inti me forso inti me forso papa tu no forso bo forso isa inti me second book na ano no ina bo me bo ne ko wura me mu that's the word of God when the word enter you. Everything will change. I said, when the word enters you, everything will change for you. Yes. 
Yes, I know. Many such some play a copan and Nancy Benjamin Jane. No, say, da. And then, how? Nam so she have, no, say, would be in a hatch. You mean, who say, Opa, say, Wokasa, what does Opa say, Wokasa, what to tow one, sir? Nam, say, and Yashi, no, so, my mean, who mean can, now, now, wash and wah. Nam, say, yes, of one, I mean, who know, bomb pie, mammy. No, just a soft bang. Me born in the also nimino, me boss or no so nimino. Na Bible no say a damn chain, na me boom, na me ye picture no. No, sir, where I am, me cock roma, me huno, ni posters be brave or ho. Na Ossidan, in a messy or bomb pie, mammy. No, sir, okay. Me who say, on the picture show or Bible, many then I say, or you will be a white genie de pa, no, Mr. Magine de pa. No, say any day, did not imagine it, no, on Jimmy Quan. In the Hono, no, me, Satan, me, who are the ye? Say, Mon or Bibawa, me, who I to say, why she in Siomino, who only punishes soon was Siomino, eh, say, eh, Sauno, Sana, me, who are the Ayami. In the Hona, men and Nessica, and the Fed Moon was a moon who be a cream. In the Placoba, in our meeting, Nibi say, sorry. Doctor <laughs> They went to call the one that said he would die. In the maybe no, my men are no. I say, hey, who now was all no? Now I say, hey, hey, any day, what's up? Who now will bring it in? Why you want that? In the say why you dear? In the one who are in the house, who also will be young one. Now I say, amen. Now how dear? In the house, we do any other bar. In the send your mouse on, won't you also over solid? No, I am in, no, the far coin, in the Mikojare, Name by, so under scale, you are home. No, I am Kojinas, Mijinasia, eighty. Devia Mijasa, Ness, and Nizzi, eh? Nada, what dear won't call for me that. In the Dan Mikojinas, no, in a new way, forty five. In the Ness and Nizzi, eh? I demand a mean wing. Sifem Nassan Ginaso. Into me, you know, so no coffee, my men buy. Into my minute, you know, what did you know? Hey, Papa, or what did you pound? Into now you require your pamphlets, I know. Debbie all was often needing. Into sounds often were present once one who know. Now, I did back on us to say, Doctor, now, or by a boy, you know. There, you have to check up or no. You have to go beside us, you know. What's the word, you know? Yeah, 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 Doctor Kona one in a mammon, me beside, also doctors in the woman or back, the woman or consia, yeah, yeah, no, but or say, Papa, 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 Where's John Bosco? He's up there. Okay. He will take the, the whole testimony. We are making a book of compiling some testimonies. And we will... And the man at Brekum, like that, that man... Efokomiasis. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Give the Lord a clap offering. But, Pastor, come, come, come. Pastor Enoch, pray a prayer for him before he goes. Pastor Enoch is the one, he has a special prayer for those who give testimony. In the city of Brekum, that man was swollen, his leg was swollen up. He came with a stick with four legs. The stick is like this, and the stick end up in four legs four smaller legs at the back of the when he's holding it 
then somebody too is holding the other side. So the whole, a human being is holding him, then the stick with four legs, and the leg is swollen. One doctor says it's called a four something something messiasis. <laughs> hey! But God's power came upon him. <laughs> Jesus. And it's on the crusade video. God can do anything. Our God does everything. All the glory belongs to Jesus. I didn't go to his dream. I can't enter dream. Jesus went to his dream. <laughs> Are you here today? And may the Lord himself enter your affairs. May the Lord himself descend in Ghana's affairs and anything that threatened Ghana may the Lord Jesus himself he who died and rose again may he rise to defend the land in the name of the Lord Jesus may he rebuke the weapons of the enemy may he fight against uh, everything the fight against Ghana may the arrow of the enemy may the virus of the enemy may it be scattered by the power of the Most High in the name of Jesus clap your hand pray 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 Zapata kalabo shanti bata, abeyam thala la 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 bakata, la baran to shanti bini kibria, rabala baba baba shanta, rabeyam thala baba ta, ibaluan thala ba di bidia, Clap your hands and pray. La Bea Dalababa, 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 La Bea